Hi there, I'm Vaidatas and in this video I'll share the top web design trends to consider implementing on your own website. Let's check them out! Trends change fast, so design elements that used to be innovative can quickly become overused and outdated. This is why it's important to keep up with the latest web design trends. It will help you make strategic design decisions to keep your site looking fresh and relevant, attracting visitors as a result. The first design trend we'll discuss is overstimulation, also known as digital maximalism. This strategy aims to overstimulate viewers by shrinking white space and overlapping page elements. Digital maximalism started as a resistance to the minimalist approach, which only displays crucial information and uses elements that oversimplify the user journey. With overstimulation, a single page may have animated backgrounds, oversized fonts, flashing images, click effects or splashes of bold and clashing colors all at once. Take the Mama Joyce pepper sauce landing page for example. Due to the eccentric and loud design style, this is a great trend for websites wanting to stand out to visitors. However, following this trend doesn't mean neglecting the user experience. Site owners should still strive for balance and keep the design visually pleasing. More importantly, ensure the content is readable, accessible, responsive and mobile friendly. The next web design trend is about using bright colors to grab the viewer's attention. Forget the monochromatic approach because bold and vivid color palettes are in season. This web design trend is especially great for food and fashion websites with an eccentric and kooky branding style like the Seedable online store. To implement this design strategy, start experimenting with hues of yellow, red, blue, orange, green or pink to bring pops of color into your website. When choosing a color palette, there is no one size fits all formula. It all depends on your branding and personal preference. But keep in mind that specific colors have been shown to be universally associated with certain emotions. For example, warm colors like red and yellow can evoke positive feelings and reflect happiness, enthusiasm, passion and energy from your web design. The Boost Vitamin landing page is an excellent example of this due to its striking orange color scheme. If you're designing an online store, consider having an interactive product display in your web design. To bring products to life, web designers often use 3D visuals, hover animations, augmented reality and 360 degree product views. Bellroy's website, for example, features a slider to show how its slim wallet compares to standard wallets. Apart from catching visitors' attention and providing a teaser of the product's benefits, this interactive display lets users review the product without needing to visit multiple pages. Plus, it creates a feeling of discovery, encouraging visitors to keep exploring the site and increasing their average time on page. The vintage or retro design trend is meant to evoke nostalgia. This includes using old font styles, images and layouts. You can also embed elements like vintage televisions, radio devices and old posters. This website is a great example of retro design with a modern touch. It carefully combines retro images, animations and vocal narration to build an immersive experience. Web designers who use this trend may also implement 90s design elements. Most people would remember the time when they had to store stacked CD cases by hand. And that is what this website aims to recreate by designing its navigation menu as a CD tower. Since these styles conjure up memories, the retro design can evoke a more emotional and positive reaction from site visitors. This can further encourage them to complete the desired action like clicking a call to action button. A popular design style for maximizing the user interface on mobile applications, Claymorphism is a great design trend to implement on your site. Simply put, it's a design style that mimics the appearance of clay. To achieve a 3D and floating effect, web designers use shadows, rounded edges and shiny touches to make an element stand out. Design agency Nika is an excellent example of this. Claymorphism adds depth to otherwise flat design elements. Coupled with vivid colors, it is a unique design approach to make a page element stand out. You can use it on call to action buttons, card components, charts, toggle elements or specific design attributes that represent your brand. Plenty of website homepages display a full screen hero image to communicate the brand message. But current web design trends take a different approach. Instead of relying on photography as the focal point, web designers use fewer pictures to eliminate distractions. Instead, they utilize catchy or thought provoking copy to drop the audience in, such as this open web landing page. Along with a carefully thought out font and site layout, a copy driven hero banner can double as an effective call to action. Next is a typography driven design. This trend relies on bold, eccentric font styles and layouts to communicate the brand message. Web designers will use minimal visuals and instead display oversized colorful letters that take up the whole space like on OKAlpha's OK website. 
you can also combine typography with interactive animations or dynamic effects. The Best Stop Boys website is a great example. This versatile web design trend works not only for maximalist designs, but also minimalist ones. Simply add large typography on top of a solid background color, like the Van Holtz website. Remember that when incorporating typography-driven design, it's important to ensure the copy is still readable to visitors, so mind the color contrast and visual balance. If you want to create an immersive experience for visitors and increase browsing time, look no further than this web design trend. 3D visuals can be challenging to create, but if done right, they can make your website stand out from the competition. There are various ways to go about this trend. Some designers use a three-dimensional centerpiece, mascot, or hero illustration of the product, like with Chirply AI. Other site owners take it a step further by creating immersive three-dimensional spaces. For example, the Panasonic Connect website takes visitors into a room full of 3D renderings of their products. Hovering over an item will take you to an interactive page that displays a 360-degree product view. It's an excellent way to nudge online shoppers into a buying decision, as it gives them the impression of seeing the product in person. So, besides engaging visitors, 3D visuals can also help you optimize conversions. But be mindful if you decide to follow this trend and consider how the 3D visuals will affect your site performance. Make sure that any 3D effects don't result into slow loading speed, as that can drive visitors away. The next web design trend is dark mode. You might be familiar with this concept as it's implemented on many social media platforms like Instagram, Twitter, and WhatsApp. But more than that, it has become a popular design aesthetic. Using a dark color as your site's primary background offers several benefits. Darker hues give off a modern, contemporary vibe. It makes anything look put together as black and shades of dark gray help establish a sense of authority. Netflix is a popular example that uses dark mode on its website. It pairs a dark background with white and red to make the copy and call to action buttons stand out. This makes it a great web design trend to follow if you want to highlight specific page elements on your site. Plus, dark mode reduces eye strain, especially in low light situations, like when visitors access the site in the evening. This improves the user's experience, which will help boost browsing time. Using videos on your web page is a timeless trend due to its effectiveness in grabbing visitors' attention. This is especially helpful for business websites looking to find more dynamic ways to market their products or services. Instead of simple text, embedding a video to your landing page is a great way to tell your brand's story in an engaging way, prompting users to stay and view the visuals. Take Pinpoint Media's site, for example. You can use videos to summarize your company profile, explain your offers, show customer testimonials, or present your newest marketing campaign. But that doesn't mean you should start inserting videos just for the sake of doing it. The visuals should be well thought out, high quality, and purposeful. One concern about adding videos to your website is if it will negatively impact the site's loading speed. In that case, I suggest avoiding autoplay videos. On this agency's website, for example, visitors have to scroll first and click the thumbnail to see the video. The next web design trend is a must for any interactive website. Micro animations are subtle movements triggered by a visitor's action on a web page. For example, when they hover or click on a certain element. Incorporating this into your website can add depth and personality to an otherwise static web page. It helps visitors navigate the website by providing visual feedback, highlighting prominent elements, displaying changes more clearly, and creating a sense of exploration. All of these work to enhance the user experience. A good example of this is the World Wildlife Fund's Canada website. It uses a variety of page transitions, animations, an accordion menu, and several call to actions to encourage visitors to donate, shop, or sign up for its newsletter. Another way to make a website interactive is by creating an engaging experience with a parallax scrolling effect. This is a user-triggered design feature where the site background moves slower than the foreground elements, like in this Goonies website. This creates a sense of depth and realism in your site's design. You may have heard that it's the best practice to place the most important website information above the fold, but with parallax scrolling, you can be more imaginative in revealing different elements. This sense of exploration encourages visitors to scroll down to the bottom of the page. As a result, they're more likely to stay longer on your site, which is great for SEO or search engine optimization. A great example of this is Reform Digital's website, which combines a maximalist design with a parallax effect. Scrolling down triggers texts, shapes, and images to move in different directions, creating a dynamic user experience. Any website can benefit from showing social proof. That's because when it comes to building a brand, trust is a crucial factor. To shape visitors' perceptions and build credibility, include customer testimonials, endorsements, awards, and media coverage on your site. 
This is what Enchanting Marketing has done on their landing page. Beyond establishing your brand reputation, it will nudge new visitors to try out your product and encourage existing customers to advocate for your brand. To make your social proof engaging, add micro interactions, dynamic effects, animations or stylish graphical elements that fit the web design. Using a slider and displaying customer photos is also a great approach. Like the 99designs website, you can insert star ratings and add a link to dedicated testimonial page. The next web design trend is scrapbook aesthetics. A step away from the more high-tech trends, the scrapbook aesthetic brings back old-school memories to entice visitors. It incorporates a lot of paper-based textures, doodle drawings, handwritten typography, and collage techniques to create a multi-layered effect like this design agency website. That way, the browsing experience will give visitors the feel of flipping through a scrapbook. This is a great design trend to follow for websites that want to achieve a fun, authentic, and earthy look. When designing a web page with this aesthetic, it's important to find a balance between all the crafty elements, because too much of it can make your website appear cluttered and bulky. It's also good to ensure your site doesn't look outdated. The Plantarian website is a great example of how to pull off the scrapbook aesthetic trend while keeping a modern look. Next, we have gradients or gradual color transitions. This is a versatile trend for any website owner wanting to add depth and dimension without overwhelming visitors. Some web designers choose just one color scheme, but you can also combine multiple colors for a warping gradient, like the Monopo London website. Compared to a static gradient, a warping gradient can add a sense of movement to your site without heavily dragging down the website speed. As you can see, there are endless opportunities to include this trend into your web design. Apart from the background, you can also add a gradient to the site logo, header, buttons, and typography. That said, remember to mind the emotions associated with your chosen colors and ensure they fit your brand. To ensure visual balance, I recommend keeping the design simple and using gradients sparingly. Last but not least, we have card components. This is a user interface or UI design trend that you can find on many social media platforms like Instagram and Twitter. A card-based layout arranges the same groups of information into one content container. Each card can represent an idea, an item, or a content piece. Typically, it contains images, titles, descriptions, call to action buttons, icons, and subheadings. Card components are effective at grabbing users' attention as it compacts information into a small space. Compared to lists, they are more visually appealing and easier to skim. Not only that, but a card components tend to be more responsive and intuitive. That makes this design trend an excellent solution for enhancing list-heavy websites like e-commerce, entertainment, and real estate sites. And there you have it. We ran through the various web design trends that you can try on your own website. Which trend are you most excited about? Leave your favorite ones in the comments below. If you like this video, let me know by leaving a thumbs up and sharing this video with your friends. We have a bunch of other web design related videos too, so make sure to check them out by subscribing to Hostinger Academy's YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and good luck on your online journey.